Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about newbie trips. Eventually when Thailand opens there's going to be lots of newbies who are coming to Thailand have never been here before. Basically what I'm going to explain is what you can expect when you come to, to Thailand as a newbie. As we all were newbies one time or another, there's lots of newbies who are going to come to Thailand. So basically this video is about what to expect and, and some things to take note as to what to do and how you can save yourself some money. So if you're newbie and you're going to come to Pattaya, that's where I'm going to explain because that's where I know better. I know Pattaya like the back of my hand better than I do Bangkok so I'm going to discuss being a newbie coming to Pattaya. Now I used to do newbie trips some like eight or nine years ago when I first came to Thailand. My friend showed me the ropes and I lived in Pattaya for two years so I sort of learnt the ropes and we as a group of people used to take people newbies round Pattaya to show them the ropes and to, to save them money and show them what to do. So basically these are a few rules, stick to these rules and you won't go far wrong. So there are plenty of organised groups now that do bar crawls and club crawls and these people know what they're doing so I would recommend go, going on some of these groups and you won't go far wrong, you certainly won't get ripped off. Um, there are plenty of opportunities for people to rip you off if you're going to go on your own and I'm going to explain some of the pitfalls. Now I've been on lads trips to Prague, to Budapest and we always went as a group of people. Now, I was in the fire brigade for 30 years, so we had regular trips away every year to various places. Two of them places were Budapest and Prague. Now, I've got to say, Budapest and Prague are oh, so dangerous. But the lad who organised all the trips, he'd been there many times and he'd learnt the tricks of the trade, if you like, from other people that had been there as well. So he was sort of taken care of a group of us and there was about 30 of us that went to, to Prague. I'll use Prague as an example. Prague's such a beautiful city in the daytime but on a night time, wow, it is so dangerous and many people are going to get ripped off. Now there was 30 of us and we all didn't stick into one group but the golden rule was in Prague if there's a group of five, six, seven of years and we all go into a bar or a pub or a, or a club the same group or the same number of people come out. We never leave anybody behind. We always make sure that everybody's safe. Now again, there's plenty of girlies in Prague and my friend was accosted by a couple of girlies in the alley as we were walking from one bar to another and he was up there, yeah, yeah, go on girls, help yourself. And they did, they helped himself to his wallet and his telephone and when he got into the bar, you realise that you've been mugged by these two girls. So if the girls have been over friendly with you, you're going to get mugged. So be careful. And another guy that was with, a, there was a group of seven of us and he insisted that he was going to go back to the hotel with these two girls. And we advised him not to because if he's on his own, he's on his own. He assured of us, I'm okay, I'm a big boy now, I can take care of myself and he went off with these two girls and we seen him for breakfast in the morning minus his phone, minus his wallet being held up in the taxi by gunpoint and robbed basically and he wasn't going to go to the police because he was a fool in what he did in the first place so that was Prague another event that happened in Prague was one of the the clubs that we were going to go to we asked this taxi driver to take us to a certain club and he pulled up outside this other club and my, our friend that was with us with a, with a check sheet he said no no we don't go in that club don't go in that club at all because you're going to get ripped off so we just went into the bar opposite the club that he tried to get us to go to it wasn't the bar or a club that we wanted to go to and 10 minutes later these two english lads came running into the bar that we were at followed by the bouncers from the club opposite the road and the 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 bar staff also gathered around these two gentlemen that came in and insisted that these two guys paid their bar bill which was £50 for two beers in this club opposite. We all breathed a sigh of relief that we hadn't been ripped off either by going into this club. So that's Prague and it's a totally different story to here into Thailand. So the answer is don't be afraid of 
situations like that in Thailand because it doesn't happen like that. I was initially scared when I was on my own because you thought the horror stories that you hear everywhere else in the world, well, Thailand isn't like that. It really, really isn't. There's some friends of mine wouldn't go into go-go bars because of fear of they're gonna get ripped off. Uh, I can safely say, I would say 90% of the places you're gonna to go to in Pattaya, you're not gonna get ripped off unless you're stupid. But it's always best to go with somebody who knows the ropes and then at least you know. So I used to do newbie trips. One of my things that I used to do, I used to say I was a wallet, is that everybody give me a thousand baht and I'll pay for all the drinks. And then if the money runs out, then I'll ask for another thousand baht off the people. So I ran the wallet. And the reason why I ran the wallet when I was running newbies, and it was only about six or seven of us at the very, very most really. So that's 7,000 baht I had to buy all the drinks. And the reason why I did this was because then it saved. It, there's one bars, maybe one bar is a little bit more expensive than the other. So if you're in a round of drinks and person A buys beers at 60 baht and then we go to another bar and person B buys the beers at 90 baht, then he's going to think, well, I paid more money than somebody else. So by me holding the wallet, that averaged it out between everybody. So it didn't matter which bar we went into. So it, it averaged the drinks out. Also, by doing that, if there were seven of us, and it, it's sort of generous that you leave a tip, so seven of us at, say, 20 baht the tips, 140 baht for every bar that we go into, as far as leaving a tip. Whereas because I was leaving the tip and I was buying all the drinks, then I, I paid 40 or 60 baht for a, for a tip for all of us. So it saved them people money. Somebody else was paying all the drinks. Um, but again, there were some cheeky people and basically because they don't know the score is that they were buying lady drinks and putting it on our tab but once i clicked what was going on i just said to the person i just said no 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 the, the money that you've given me is for your drinks and your drinks alone not for lady drinks lady if you're going to pay lady drinks you pay them separately and they agreed with that and, and they were happy with that but also at the beginning of the night i made sure that everybody had a card with their address for where they were going to go back to their hotel because Patia is a big place and it's easy to get lost. And I remember this one gentleman, he was a oil rig worker, he was 45 years old and he'd been there, seen it done, he got the t-shirt, knew everything. He said, oh, he said, I don't need a card, I know exactly where I live. He said, I know where I'm staying. And he'd never ever been to Thailand before, but he was staying on Soi Bacow. Now as everybody knows that I've been to Thailand, Soi Bacow is a big long road. So I stayed out with them till one o'clock in the morning. They were all fixed up, all happy, all happy chappies. And I left them to their, to their own devices to make their own ways back in the morning. And then we'd arrange that we would go and meet in, in Kiss 24. Now that, that's a, a restaurant on second row that's open 24 hours a day. And we decided to have brunch there at 11 o'clock and for everybody to come and meet and we'd make sure that everybody was okay and, and had a good night. And the following, following day, 11 o'clock, this gentleman who, who lived on Soi Bacow, who knew where he was going, didn't need a car to make sure he was going back to his hotel, met us at the Kiss restaurant at 11 o'clock. He'd never been back to his hotel. Tried to take the girl back to his hotel and he couldn't remember where his hotel was. So he had to pay for another hotel for the night as a walk-in. So, so I learned by the people who take the newbies around with regard to listen to the advice that they have to say. Whatever advice that they give you, it's genuine advice and it's advice to help you out, not to, to call you a fool or stupid or anything else like that. It's to help you out. So we had various bars that, that we'd arranged to go to and we, the, the bars that we arranged to go to obviously had plenty of girls in and because I knew them, manageresses of these bars and I said to them I've got this group of people coming on this particular day so there was always plenty of ladies in there and then we went to the bars and then we went to Soy 6 and then we went to Walking Street and I've got to turn around and say that 90% of the time the people that went to Soy 6 and Walking Street never ever went back to Walking Street again because it was so expensive to go to Walking Street. Good to see, 
different places, but Soy 6 was probably the, the best place that everybody had ever been to. Also taking people into go-go bars, realizing like, such as Prague or Budapest, if you go into such places like that, you're sort of a lamb to the slaughter and you're gonna get ripped off. Everybody was so amazed as to going around the go-go bars that you weren't getting ripped off. The drink prices were reasonable. There was ladies in different attire of clothing, some with nothing on at all, some with very skimpy clothing. And once you knew the score, you only have to go out with somebody two or three times. And then that's what happened. Then you learn very, very quickly that it's a safe place to be. I feel more safe walking around Patia at two, three, four o'clock in the morning than I ever did walking around Middlesbrough on a night time after the club's finished at two o'clock in the morning. So don't be scared of Patia. My advice is there are plenty of people on YouTube doing walkabout. I think there's somebody virtually every day of the week doing a bar crawl around Patria once it's up and running again. That's what I'm saying. I don't know when that's going to be, but when it does, that's my strongest advice to so anybody. Get on an organised tour. It'll save you a lot of money, show you the rope, show you the score, and you're with other like-minded people. You're like a kid in a candy shop and you love it because it's an organised event and you know you're going to be safe and you're going to be looked after. I used to love doing my newbie trips because it, it was so much fun. So many smiles on people's faces. My, my clientele were 55 to 65 years old and they loved every single minute of it. And there, there were some really, really, really good nights. And as far as costs are concerned, I don't know what other people charge, if they charge anything at all. But I used to just do it for tips. If somebody wanted to give me a tip, they give me a tip at the end of the week. If they didn't, well then, they didn't. I just had as much fun as they did, seeing the smiles on the face. It's just like Christmas Day when you had your kids. That was enough reward for me for payment, for showing people that life goes on when you're older. And one of my favorite starts to it is when, when people come to, to Thailand, especially from the UK, it's a 12 hour flight and then it's like an hour and a half, two hours by taxi to get to, to Pattaya. So usually they get there about lunchtime. So I give them two or three hours to get settled in. And what I do, the, the first trip that I used to take them out was for a soapy massage. Now for those people who've never had a soapy massage before, it's one of them things, it's oh, top of the list. You've got to go and have a soapy massage. And I took them to, to various soapy massages and that their eyes are, are open like that. Wow, yeah, this is incredible. And then I guarantee every single person that come out from the soapy were ready for a night out. Refreshed, straight into it, ready for drinking. And then we just carried on. And that was our first day of doing a, a newbie group tour around Patia. It was a soapy and about three or four o'clock in the afternoon that we just carried on fr from that. So for all those people who are going to be coming to to Patia, when everything reopens, the fun will be there. It's going to take a little while for it to open up, but go with the organised groups, I would say. If you want the list of people that do these tours, drop me a line below on the email below and I'll send you the details of all the people that do the, the newbie tours. I don't do the newbie tours anymore because I'm married and I live in Rayong. But if I have a number of friends who come over here, for a, an experience, then I'll take them to Patia and I'll show them the ropes of what they want to do. But I'll take my wife with me as well because it's it's such good fun seeing people who've never been here. And those people that I think it benefits, those people who are going through a hard time with divorce, relationship problems. Once you come over here, you see a different way of living and that's what makes you feel happy again, makes you feel back alive again. So. Pattaya, Thailand is a wonderful place to come if you're feeling down or if you're going through relationship problems or if you're at a loose end. So that's my video on newbie trips to Pattaya, Thailand. So if anybody's got any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll reply to them if I can. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.